Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I've got some chest and arms I'll be training today. Now this session is another session that's available on my app. So I'll kind of break it down a little bit more. For you guys who are following along the workout of the week section. But first, I'm going to take some pre-workout that I've been taking just this last week. Really because I ran out. So you guys normally saw me take just the regular raw pre. I'm going to swap that out for the essential pre-workout. A little bit more caffeine in this guy. Uh, instead of 50 milligrams, this guy's got 200 milligrams per scoop. So I feel this one a little bit more, plus it's got the beta alanine. Uh, but the other benefits is it's dosed a little bit heavier with L-citrulline. So that helps with the pump. L-tyrosine, it's got two grams of. That'll give you a little bit of better focus. Uh, and then it's also got taurine in there, which can, can help with muscle fatigue. So you're able to have a longer, intense session. Kind of keep that intensity throughout your workout. And then I'm just adding the pump, which is a non-stim. I usually do about half a scoop of this with maybe like three quarters scoop of the essential pre. And then this one really just, just has more that's gonna help with blood flow. It does also have a gram of the L-tyrosine and then almost a gram of the taurine again to help with the, the focus and uh, muscle fatigue. Flavors on a bag of the orange lemonade. I can definitely get down with that. Yeah, so we'll hit this guy, this chest workout. This guy, only three chest movements. My goal is to really fatigue my chest, which is three exercises because it's the, the second time in the week that I'm training my chest. And then the rest of it's gonna be dedicated to arms. Just two move, movements for the triceps, two movements for the biceps. Again, really focused on intensity and then making each movement as effective as possible and kind of, it's all structured in a way where overall, my weeks of training that I've been following are a little less volume than what I've normally been doing for sure. But the intensity is much higher just by doing little things like instead of going right in after I warm up to kind of a multi-joint exercise like the bench press, where I'm also incorporating a good bit of tricep I'm going to first go in, isolate my chest with the fly to incorporate as little a tricep as possible. And just train my chest as directly as possible. So then when I go to the bench press, I'm going heavy, but I don't have to go as high in weight to, to get that same feel on my chest. And ideally, I stress my muscle a lot faster that way. Don't have to go as heavy, so save my joints just a little bit. And, uh, Hopefully still get a pretty good pump because my, my chest is already going to be activated going into that first press. So we'll see. It's been, uh, shoot, maybe only three weeks or so on this training style, three or four weeks. But I'm really enjoying it. And uh, it's cool to see your guys' feedback for following day to day of this schedule, uh, again, which is, which is in the training app. So if you want to check, out, check that out, the first week is free. The link to that's in the, in the video description below. Other than that, man. The brand's coming together a little bit. You can see the, the shirts over there. So looking at maybe June or so, these are the first samples that are kind of complete as far as color, fit, fabric, the designs. Like now this next week or two, we'll start printing, see how the designs print out on them. We got some sick designs, I'm not gonna lie. This, uh, the graphic artist, my partner and I have been working with, I mean, we've been working with him since the start of the year. And, the dude, the dude's unbelievable. I'm not gonna name drop some of the brands he's worked on, but he's, he's done some cool stuff. So we're, we're just happy to have him as uh, kind of part of the team with building out the, the vision for this brand. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Maybe maybe now that we get closer, I'll have a little something video to video. So appreciate your guys' interest in it. It's, it's a pretty fun project, I'm not gonna lie. Learning a heck of a lot too in the process. So kind of, as we do more brand related content, try to share a bit of the journey that I'm going through of just, you know, learning how to launch something like this and kind of manage and juggle all the little roles that I'm learning and getting into. I at least think it's interesting, so I'll share some stuff.
two rounds on this little circuit, three exercises, Y raises, thumbs going up, I raises, uh, essentially pinkies going up behind me, and then to the W's uh, coming out, palms are facing each other at the bottom, and then as I'm coming out with my arms, keeping a bend in my elbow, finishing at the top, almost with my palms starting to face out just a little bit. 12 reps on most of those, either use five or 10 pounds by the end of it. The shoulders are feeling good, and I'll be ready to do some pressing. First press is gonna be this incline dumbbell. Now, I'm not far off with the weight from where I wanna be. 100 is pretty good for kind of a six to eight for me right now. I could probably get maybe 10 or 11 if I was going normal tempo with the reps. But with these, since this gym only goes up to 100, and I don't wanna start really getting crazy and have exact stack dumbbells on top of dumbbells here. Instead, to make the set harder and still stay at the rep range I'm looking to stay at, I'm just slowing the negative portion, right? So the, eccentric portion of the rep uh, just down to two or three seconds but that's fatiguing my chest a lot quicker so now i'm only going to get to six maybe seven if i'm lucky with the rest time at about 90 seconds six going to start to get hard by the third or fourth set which is what i want I'm gonna do the V grip, but really this machine just doesn't go heavy enough for me to get the most out of that. So I'm putting a little bit more tension on the outer head of my tricep by using the rope. And then I'm gonna complement that with the next tricep exercise, which is an overhead extension to put a little more stretch on the long head of my tricep. And because if I, if I do a dumbbell, I tend to kind of hit the same part of my tricep. Of course, I'm still getting the long head in, 
but I tend to still hit that outer head of my tricep. At least I feel it there when I'm doing a, a French press because it's a dumbbell kind of, my arms are kind of crossed over each other a little bit. So to avoid that, I'm gonna go with uh, an easy bar French press. So swap out the dumbbell for one of these smaller barbells. And that way I feel like I can get a little more tension just on that long head, which is what I want to finish off my triceps. like this but it would be upright and then just where you have like the it's like a little chair right they usually don't move they don't have one of those those are great so we got this little lap pull down machine this thing's a little tough to push back into so just grab the little pad that they got here they will probably use like a even fold up like a gym mat or something and get the job done that way I can drive back into it to help stabilize or have a stable base for my lower body and then help stabilize my upper body by pushing back into it and that way I'm just focusing on keeping a good good control with the weight not coming up all the way where I'm fully extending and locking out because then that's taking the tension off my tricep but I'm gonna maybe lock 90 95 percent and then coming back down trying to get a good stretch overhead and then using that stretch to squeeze the weight back up with one more of those my triceps will be pretty good and I will finish with similarly two bicep movements That's fine. Ideally, I like the straight bar. Then again, if you're if you're going heavy, I used to get wrist pain with the straight bar when I wasn't as, I think it just came down to flexibility when I wasn't as flexible as I am now. So I would go to that easy bar grip, put a little less tension on my wrist, but today I don't have the choice, so. And then same kind of concept with this. When the weight's all the way down, right, there's not, not really much tension. <clears throat> the closer I get to that 90 degree point, the heavier that weight's gonna feel. So it's gonna feel the heaviest when it's furthest away from my body, from my elbow. So out at, at 90 here. So that's kind of the area I want to get to. I don't want to hang around the bottom too much because you know that I'm not really making the, the most of my time. Exactly why I like doing 
an exercise like the concentration cone first. It's, again, same principle as the chest. Fatigue the bicep as much as I can. Don't put it in too many other muscle groups. And then when I'm going to this curl, it's making an exercise that I would typically do more weight on a lot harder. So that little bit of lighter weight, maybe it's 20% less, feels a lot heavier. And then I'm getting more out of lighter weight, which that's a win for me. it is or how accurate it is, but we'll step on it. Just got this first part in the middle here. All right, so I'm at just under 200. So, 192. Compare it if it's on. Well, I guess that settles that. 192 it is. Take it. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I got 20 minutes of cardio. Still sitting at 190 or so. Yeah, we'll see. With what I'm eating right now, I'm eating just under my maintenance. So realistically, I'm not expecting to lose much weight because I'll have some cheat meals here and there and there. So on average, when I look at the whole week, I'm eating about at maintenance calories. Um, and then really just enjoying training, trying out new things. This new program that I've been following, which is really the workout of the week, week to week on the training app. I'm, I'm enjoying the new style of, of this training. Picked up some jujitsu a couple weeks back and just having fun with uh, learning and progressing, not too worried about cutting down to a number. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully there's a couple of tips in here that maybe you guys can utilize in your training too. And uh, shoot, it's another week of training. It's another session. What do I know? I'm just Merck. Thanks for watching.